Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com Welcome, James, to Ross Patterson Revolution. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What would you think? Jesse, I caught that sarcasm. Don't th- don't think that I didn't catch. Thank you for sarcasm. having me on your show. What? <laughs> what would you think, James? If you were just wandering the streets at night, wanted to smoke a little grass, uh, a little bit of green, and you walked into a house and there was a thousand, a one thousand pound tiger just chilling out <laughs> in the fucking house, what would you think to yourself? I would think. Hmm. Mm. Tuesday? Mm, Tuesday? Wednesday? Maybe Wednesday? Who knows? Who knows? This, th- th- there was a fucking dude in Houston who, who walked in and found a fat. It's a really fat tiger, too. Yeah, what? It's a thousand pounds. Oh, yeah. High as shit. Mm-hmm. He thought he was tripping. He thought he was right. tripping on acid. He was just like, I, I don't think that I'm seeing what I'm seeing. Right. There is a fucking tiger in this house. And he called the police. Mm-hmm. Police came out. It's an, an abandoned house in Houston. Why are you going to smoke weed at an abandoned house? Like, what? It's 2019 at this point, right? Like, I guess I don't. In my day, that's what you would do. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In my in your day, smoking yeah. days back in the in the 1920s. That's yeah. when you want to done that. that. that, 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 that. Yeah. Um, Maybe we'll go see a talkie later. Yeah, no. yeah. Back in my day, you did. You did have to go into abandoned houses and things of that. Nature. Uh, so, what what was the deal with the what ended up being the deal with the tiger? The fucking what tiger was he doing there. Here's the crazy part of all of this with this fucking tiger. This wasn't the first time that Houston PD's been called out to look at a fucking abandoned tiger. Hmm. What tigers how, are? How do you get? How does one acquire a tiger? I remember thinking that when I saw the Hangover of like, all right, great, yeah, yeah. Mike Tyson's got a tiger. Sure. How does one get a tiger? Right. We had Marcus Luttrell on Drinking Bros. He's got a bunch of like wild, you know, exotic animals and shit. He said there is like an exa- like an exotic animal, you know, place where you go and order these things. He's got like two, two or three giraffes, I think, at his house. Which is rad, but he's got 70,000 acres. He's sure. not, you know, these drafts aren't posted up in an abandoned house in Houston, just chilling out. Um, I, I, my point, like, I, I guess to all of this is, why did you leave the tiger? Why did you get it if you were just going to leave it in a house, in an abandoned house? I get it, though. It's like the kids want a tiger. You guys have to take care of it, though, right? <laughs> You have to walk it. You have to feed it. Yeah. What always happens, right? Nobody's getting the fucking tiger. The tiger's fat in a freaking abandoned house. Yeah. Because you guys didn't take care of it. Yeah. It's your fault. It's the your kids. fault. I like they, the they, they asked this guy, they said, hey, the police said, well, how, how big do you think the tiger is? And the guy was like, I don't know, man. It's huge. It's probably like 300 pounds. They came back and said, no, it's 1,000. <laughs> Try. Bro. Imagine being that high. That, yeah, we were just like, dude, it's uh, like 150, 170. Just like a fat, fat tiger, <laughs> dude. Oh, man. 300. I don't. It's Nope. It's, one, it's a 1,000 pound tiger. Yeah. When they wheeled this thing out, it was wedged into this small cage. I, I mean, I, I don't even know how it lived or how you got it in there. Or how long the tiger's been in there at that point? You seem like you have a lot of questions. I have a lot of que- I don't have a lot of More answers. More questions than answers. I want to I want to find out where people are getting tigers, man. No, because no offense um, to whoever this was, right? It clearly wasn't somebody famous or of any importance, right? Like ourselves. Sure. I feel that I should be able to make a call. And get a tiger. If I want a tiger, just for a few weeks, kind of mm-hmm. like this situation, and then drop it off somewhere. I think there's rescue situations. Okay. 
So you can rescue a tiger. A normal human can rescue a tiger. I think if there's like zoos that close or these like weird <laughs> places, you know, like that place on Carolina Beach or whatever. Right. Like when that goes down, if Oof. there's a if there's a tiger there, though they have to go somewhere. You can't just drop that off at somebody's res- house. You can't do that. What? No, there's rescue uh places, right? Gotcha. So they rescue all these different types of animals. Right. From there, I think is where you can you can get them. You can acquire them. Listen, Oof. I don't know. I don't need to know. Personally, yeah. you are in the market, I guess, which I didn't know. I guess you're in the market for a tiger. These are things I should know. I, I'm, I'm in the, the market kids. for a lot of things here. I mean, they're, the animals transported to Cleveland Armory Black Beauty Ranch in uh, Murishan, Texas, wherever that is. See? So they have a place. The ranch has more than 800 animals, including two tigers, right? If you have 800, more than 800 animals and only two tigers, and you found one in an abandoned building mm-hmm. or abandoned house in Houston, mm-hmm. th- that tells me just off the top of my dome, it's pretty hard to get a goddamn tiger. Sure. Um, now I want to know where I can get one. Because maybe I just want to play with one from like, I don't know. Let's say three months to like six months before it gets yeah. too big and out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I want to drop it off mm-hmm. at a house somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, it'll, be, it'll get taken care of eventually by right. someone. Yeah. So I Tigers want. Tigers have gotten. Want a, that option open for me? A, a bad. Whoever is doing their PR lately. Oof. That one that killed the mate. Yeah. Did you hear about that? Oh, yeah. There's like, for, you know, they're about to breed these rare tigers. Yeah. It's like they found, they finally got him together. They kept him apart for, <laughs> I think it was like six months or something like that. And then they finally got him together. I was like, go, 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 go. And yeah. this fucking kid just killed her, dude. Her. Killed her. Wow. The mate just killed the mom. Anyway. It, it happens. And then this. Yeah. So tigers are in the headlines for all the wrong reasons uh, <sighs> it, lately. It seems like there's a tiger ac- epidemic that's going around, Jabe's. They're trending. Yeah. And, and whenever something's trending, guess who wants one? The big guy. Sure. The big guy wants a tigre. Sure. I just want to, I want to pop around with it, you know, scoot around town in it. We can drive on the beach here. Mm-hmm. I can pop open the windows. You know, I'm playing in the water. The tiger's got his head out the window, enjoying yep. his day. Yep. Throw a little, uh, you know, little bowl of Zima little in the back. Little. Let him go to town. Yep. Hey, you're so big. Go, 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 Head ripped off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That and an alligator I want. Right. I was pretty jealous over that story we did about the alligator. The guy who had the therapy alligator. I want one of those too. I, I, I think it, it, here's what it is, James. I want what I can't have. And I think that we all want that in this world. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Tiger. That's true. I want an alligator. I want all of it. But I don't want to own a zoo. I think those are, those are no. dirty. I think those are dirty. And I don't want any part of that. I think like I'm the one here is filthy. Have you been there yet? Go to, no. I, t- I took our, our children there. We just, I just saw on the news, too, were these big gorillas in, in this zoo. I think it was in London. Again, bad rap. Who, whoever's doing London and or, uh, Britain and Tiger's PR this week, fired. Sure. Um, so these gorillas, like, put up, like, somehow wedged a log up to the side of this, like, huge wall from the enclosure and, like, climbed up, helped each other up over the wall wow and then they're like cl- they're they're just running free in the zoo so you're walking in the path oh a go, 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 go. you know wow so i think i'm just i'm not gonna do the zoo thing it's sort of a jurassic park of life will find a way yeah yeah, yeah. you know what yeah. i mean they always will find a way to either get out yep. or fucking kill your ass so yeah don't be too I get it. Look, I, th- I think they're cute for a few months. Um, mm-hmm. And that's kind of where I'm at right now in, sure. the, in this life as far as tigers and alligators go. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I'd like to have one for a few months just to say I did it. Yeah. My gram would be lit, you know? Oh, oh shit. Dude. There's Ross with the tiger again. What's he doing? Oh, oh he's playing basketball. His tiger's just chilling out in the grass underneath the hoop, you know? That'd be so sweet. It'd be great. Dude. It would be really great for my Instagram. Oh. Just have a nice tigre running around. I love it. I also like to take that therapy alligator on a plane. You want to try? We're going that? to Los Angeles next month. I want to. Yeah. yeah. I just want to walk it down the aisles, you know, hold it, and uh, 
I'm going to have a different thrill <laughs> of two kids by myself. That's on you, though. Ooh, that's going to be a thrill. It's on me. What that do you mean on it's you. on me? I I said I would come, but you're going to help out your father um, for a little bit. Do a little housework. Kids. A lot of people don't know this about Jabe's. I'm going to give you a huge compliment. Oh, okay. Then I'll shut up. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you should shut the fuck up and take this compliment. And take this compliment because I treat you like gold. gold. I treat you, you like fucking, fucking gold. Bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. You're really handy and you're good with sure. like building shit and uh, you and your, your dad in particular, yeah. you guys can build or work on anything and uh, usually get it accomplished. Mm-hmm. If we gave you an Ikea project, whereas most people that would take nine hours out of their day for you, it takes about four. Sure. You do it in about half the time. Right. So you were super handy. You guys are working on uh, your dad's house together. Yes, we're doing yeah. a remodel. So, yeah, yeah. So, so you're, you're going out uh, a little earlier, mm-hmm. um, but that's that's by your own choice because um, well, I'm terrible at that stuff. Be, <laughs> that, but like the LA, you know, from here to LA, just getting acclimated, getting the kids settled, getting right. yourself on the right time schedule takes about a week. So before I have to actually go to work with you guys yep. and do like our show and drinking bros and stuff like that behind the scenes. Don't worry guys. I'm not going <laughs> to be on it. Show your beak uh, on that I'm screen. Not, don't worry. You won't be seeing my face, my <laughs> mug over there ruining your dude time. Um, but uh, yeah, I need a, a second to get like, so when I, when you come, I'll be already LA time. You know what I mean? Right, right, I'll right. already be on the LA wavelength. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Back in my element. No, I know you no, will be. No, not L.A. itself, but Ventura for sure. Yeah, Ventura for sure. I will not, get not L.A. Run itself. on the beach, freaking. Yeah, L- you know? L.A. Is itself is, is, is not shambles. exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, and, I was uh, reading that, that, that article about the, the, the homeless epidemic and the, the health epidemic that's going on in the West Coast in Seattle. Yeah. San Francisco and Los Angeles with the 10 cities and the homelessness and all that shit. And they were saying, like, hey, if, if another depression hits you know Mm -hmm. forget it everyone will be out there in the streets which is probably true i mean it keeps getting crazier and crazier each time we go out there where i'm just like holy shit every square inch of sidewalk it feels like is taken up by homeless people yeah and like you know if you've if you're trying to be an actor and you can't afford (laughs) crazy get a gym membership downtown at the golds (laughs) Shower before your audition. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy, right? Get you a, you know, T-Mobile and a gym membership. Oof. That's what it's going to come to. Yeah. And then that's going to be the story of the, you know, the next Bradley Cooper. Yeah. A buddy I of lived mi- in Tent City. I know, exactly. A buddy of mine just sold his house. Uh, it, it's 1,275 square feet. 1,275 square feet, right? Total. That's what the house size is. Right. 1.55. No. no. <laughs> Next. You believe that shit? I won't be taking that one. Yeah. And, and he was almost disappointed by it. Of like, I thought I, I could have gotten like 1.7. And I was like, what was the locale? Holy fucking About. shit. Um, it was on the West side. It was in uh, like, no, I was in Playa. It wasn't in like, you know. Well, wasn't in Venice yeah, or yeah, Santa yeah, Monica, yeah. you yeah. know, it was in Playa. And I was just like, fuck, man, all right. You know, Playa, which is still, and the reason why I say Playa with that type of attitude is that's where the planes go over. Yeah, and so, I think trains go through. Yeah, so and, all of LAX to get out of there travels over Playa and then right. it makes a hook around. There's and then they one little part of it. Fuck out of the city. It's cute. Well, here's the thing. So, what they do is the city puts in double paned windows and that's part of the expense of it. Uh, and they put that in. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nightmare. Yeah. And um, man, it's, it's the strangest thing because you, you're this close to the beach. And I had a, I had a friend. I'm not going to say who this was, but it was a pretty, pretty massive celebrity who bought a place on Playa on the sand where you walked out the door and your foot was on the sand and it was gorgeous. The, the, the place itself was gorgeous. It was a uh, kind of like a, a townhouse slash condo type of deal. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Uh, Double paned windows, whatever. But every five minutes, a, a jumbo jet flew uh-huh. over the And I was like, man, it's beautiful and picturesque sure. as this is. 
you're just looking at jets fly over you all day long and it's that when you're when you're inside you don't hear anything because it's you know you double really pains don't. you really don't oh you really don't no but here's the thing you open up that balcony and you just want to peek sure, or you just sure. want to have wanna relax yeah, outside, exactly ha- read have some wine only reason to live. Zoom, oh, over your head and i was like oh no and that's where harrison ford is crashing into too it'll be your place yeah yeah, 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 yeah your yeah, yeah. balcony yeah yeah so they, when i heard that price i was like holy fucking shit because one would think, man, we've got to be, look, this has been going on for, we're completely off topic. We don't really give a shit. Um, this has been going on for, with the bull run, it's been going on for about 10 years or something like that. Like we're due for another recession at some point. Just mathematically, we go yeah. through one every 10 yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, there was an article that popped up today that said uh, like fucking one in seven people are, are 90 days late, more than 90 days late on their car payments. And they're saying this this is set up for the same kind kind of crash we had in two thousand and eight, where they were like, "Man, we haven't seen numbers as high in a while because of consumer confidence of like everybody's working that the, the jobs yeah. are at their highest country's history and all this shit, and it's like how much can the good times roll essentially sure and I was like, man, I don't know uh when i when i he, when I heard that house price, I was just like, Phew, what are we doing anymore? How is this possible what how do you li- how do you live out there with that?" You don't. I mean, and that's what I always say, still continue to say about LA is like, if you didn't buy in the 70s, yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is like the only reason that my family's still out there, if uh, they didn't own the houses that they owned, it right. would be like, oh, let's get out of here. Like, yeah. this is crazy, right? But they bought long enough ago that, you know, their, their value just keeps going up. I remember looking at uh, Kim Kardashian shit when they, they leaked all of her personal information uh, online uh, regarding like bank information and, and things that, you know, she was spending her money on. Mm-hmm. And I was surprised to see that she was on like 30 year mortgages for most of these houses. I was just like, ah, OK. Yeah. Didn't know that. I would, I would have thought they would have paid in cash, but I guess like you can't just keep buying $30 million houses in cash over no, and over and over again. They need, and as you know, they need to be liquid for everything that it takes for them to look. Yeah. And be there's a lot, the there's a lot on that payroll, of course. That, yeah. 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 Payroll. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Glam, clothes, cars. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, shit, I don't know how a dude. normal person does it anymore there. Because even like... You look at TV shows and, and shit like that. If you're not on a network TV show, like a, uh, what's that, Mom, or a Big Bang Theory or something right, like right. that, where you're getting 100 grand an episode, I mean, you're, you're that, the cost of your houses and all of that shit now, and, and again, it was not like this four or five years ago. <laughs> um, it is really rocketed. So you, again, you have to either have bought in the 70s or be really, really rich. The people in between are the people that are late on their car payments, right. um, living in you know studios and using everything for appearance because as soon as you walk out your door, you're going to be paying for parking. If you meet somebody for drinks, if you meet someone, it's you're like, I mean, it just, go, it goes. Oof, so this could end up bad. It's that middle part that's just like dragging everything. Man, down. the last time, like again, the last time somebody paid for a house like that, in California, that was right before that crash where I was just like, I can't believe that. And my, and I, cause it was two of my friends, uh, close friends were caught up in it and they had bought at that peak right in 2007 yeah. and then just got obliterated after that. And the other thing is like getting into a mortgage out there. Like, yeah, maybe you can afford it right now, right? Like property tax and stuff. So like, the it keeps other rising, thing is, yeah. yeah. So the other thing is, you know, buying property in cash. I think out there is the only way you should do it because then it'll go up if you can. But like even Kim Kardashian, like why wouldn't you, your house will double in value. Like because the houses they're buying are like 30 to 50 million a piece. Right. So they're not buying, you know, these 1.2 ers yeah, yeah, they're not wasting their time with a, with a 1200 square foot house anymore. Right. (laughs) Right. They're, uh, they're buying hills. They bought a mountain. That or like buy something around there. Like, again, you can still afford places in Ventura or Oxnard on the beach. So it's like, 
it is worth it, I think, to have a little bit of property in California right but now. But you're not in showbiz, baby. If you're in Oxnard, you're not in showbiz, no, baby. No, I'm just saying property-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's going up so it is, fast yeah. that it's like... But the property taxes are... Are ins- also... I, you're, that, that's like, you might as well have an assistant with what you're paying in property right. taxes. The reason why I bring all this up right now, because um, these conversations went down last night, uh, is that I was like, man, this is starting to feel like we're on the verge of destruction here of like 2007. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's why I bring this up. Like mm-hmm. late last night, I was like, man, I can't remember prices for that type of shit since then. And I was like, right. ooh, are we getting too close here? I mean, look, Papa Trump can only save us for so long, but uh, oof. That's that was crazy last night. My buddy called and he was and again he was disappointed with it. And I was like, "What? You're Dis- disappointed with oh, that with that number with that price? Yeah." And he had bought it for uh, I want to say seven fifty. I think about four years ago. So it's doubled in four years. He doubled his money in four years. That's what I'm saying. Like that is a huge leap. Why huge did leap. he sell right now? Uh, why not wait kids different okay. decision you know like uh, you got you got a bigger house if you have a kid mm. um there at least because there's no yards or yeah uh fuck all that shit so you know it's one of those things where you got to bite the bullet eventually but if he fucking doubled his money like man good but the problem is the the, the next place he's buying he's probably overpaying for massively. right and then the other thing is like he spent so much money in property tax that like he didn't double his money that's what he said <laughs> that's what he said he was just like ah, i he did, I did okay and i was like eh. how what is okay well he probably walked away with three or four hundred grand but again i have not seen or heard of these prices since then where i was just like whoops Whoopsie, what's going to happen here? Doodle, doodle, do, screw doodle, do. Stay safe out there, people. Stay safe. Stay, stay vigilant. Because um, even us, man, fuck. You know, we, we got the video show popping off on YouTube. So hopefully, whatever happens, you can watch free entertainment on YouTube, you know? Yeah. As long as you have YouTube, you can just watch it for free. Yeah. Even if you have to cancel your cable. You can still watch yeah, YouTube even on your from phone. Tent City, if serious. you get that T-Mobile and the Gold's <laughs> membership, you can I still think... watch YouTube and be entertained mm-hmm. by us you every day. You can go day. to the Starbucks as long as you've gone and taken the shower at the Gold's. Right. You can go to that Starbucks and watch us on your T-Mobile yeah. on your phone. Good to go. So Good to go. I don't even know if you need it. Like, they have unlimited data. You could probably watch it from your tent at night. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Boom. Boom. I think about that shit. Um, D- Dish reported their numbers this morning because we have, we have Dish, um, not the stock, but the, the actual yes. Dish itself, cable, and their numbers were down like 6% because everybody's canceling because they, they're in these carriage fights with uh, HBO because they pulled HBO mm-hmm. from all, all of their shit, which was uh, dumb. They've got to figure that, that out, obviously. I personally, like, you know, look, my, my dad's in the cable industry, uh, grew up with knowing the ins and outs of the cable industry all my life i've had we've had all of it we've had direct tv time warner we've tried the, it all yeah, spectrum whatever the fucking charter all, we've had all of it at some point in our life the only one i've ever been happy with service wise is dish because we've you know you can watch it on your phone you can pull it up it pops up in two seconds pristine quality i've gotten it out in the middle of the desert remember we were watching uh the nba finals out when we were shooting like range 15 that's amazing. Yeah. And I was like, dish. You were in your car. Dish, motherfucker. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. It was great. So, I, I yeah, I, I, it makes me sad when I see that. I'm like, oh, fuck. Because if something sweet comes on HBO, we're going to have to get out of there. Sure, sure. I mean, you know, if they were pick up daddies at night she cries while he rides his steed when darkness well, falls, we'll he doesn't catch it. The 10 for 10 a month for it or whatever. Yeah, well, you can on the on the yeah on yeah. the uh, whatever the the, f- the, the only fuck thing stick holding is. us back is the sports. That's it. Live live sports, live sporting TV is is it? Or but just live events in general. Like they still like CBS, ABC, That's Fox. True. Like there's there's still you Oscars, know CBS is Grammys, going to yeah. like five dollars. They're they're going to be an app right now. I think they already are, and it's like five bucks right now. And and a bunch of big people are doing shows over there. A uh, friend of the show, guest of the show, Michael Raymond James, he's got a TV show on CBS. It's called like CBS Access okay. or CBS Plus. Yeah. And I didn't know what it was. 
And I was just like, oh, what is that? And then Jordan Peele, obviously genius, um, sure. is doing Twilight Zone, but it's only available there. That's what you got to so, do. So is that going to be the thing where we're each paying five bucks for all these rinky dink bullshit? Yeah, but like, if you think about it, like I would want Showtime, HBO, Bravo, Cooking Channel, right? Yeah. So it is going to kind of add up. Five, 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 ten, five, ten, five, ten, five. ten, 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 to I where know. you're like, you're at a cable bill. Yeah. So cable's easier at this point. That's that's why you have cable where you're like, all right, cool. Do I really want to. Exactly. You know, Cutting the cord in, right now is yeah. not. Um, I don't think it's financially the same. Not yet. Because like, Dish has cut their rates down to, what do we pay, 70 bucks a month or something for all that shit? Yeah. We get everything for Christ's sakes. Big 10 network. All of it across the board where it's just like, all right, rad. So I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, Japes. But I do know this. You've got your, little, okay. uh, you got your little drink today. I think we're going to be okay. You got your little drink. What are you drinking there? I'm drinking a Daily Harvest. Oh. Still not a sponsor. No. No. Do they sponsor other podcasts? No. I told you they sponsor uh, Instagram people. Really? Yeah. Huh. Worked. Well, whatever it did, whatever it was, it worked. Yeah, you should you should hashtag Jesse's name on on a Daily Harvest to see if we can get him on there. You'd you'd promote <laughs> yeah. the shit out of that, wouldn't you, dude? If I got it, <laughs> if I got it for free, yeah, kind of like H Factor, H oh. Factor Water. How great is that shit? I drink it. We said, hey, we'll do it. For, I'll I just drink a put lot it up on it. here. I know. Yeah, Every same day. Same. So. Yeah, I get it. D- Daily Harvest hit Jabe's up. We got a huge show. I don't know why we just you just let me ramble on like that forever about the tiger and shit, but you did, and I'm I'm proud of you for it. Look, man, loving know, every minute of it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You know what I mean. Of that's course. all. That's all I can say. Of course. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm not going <laughs> to tell you what to talk about, what to do. You know, this isn't my gig. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't my. This isn't my it's not the Ross and Jesse show. You no, know? it's not. It's just mine. Just picture mine. me anywhere. Somebody, yeah. a couple of people have asked, "Why isn't? Why isn't it?" And I was like, "When we started, we didn't know what this show was going to be. We thought it was going to be me interviewing people, right?" And then you came along, fucked it all up. You know, I think it'd be too much pressure for me if my name was somewhere. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I like to hang back and then surprise you. You know, I like to be like, "Who is that?" Oh, she's. She's okay. <laughs> Her name's on in anything, so it's like you're, you have no expectation, right? Right. That's right. where you I are thrive. in the description every That's day. That's why I thrive every day. Is low expectations. I will smash those. I remember when we started this show. In all seriousness, like we thought it was going to be me interviewing people, and then maybe you'd pop on. You know, yeah. uh, kind of as as like the Robin Quivers type yeah. sitch where I'd interview people, and then. You kept being on, and then more and more, like over time, everybody was like, "Oh, well, I love Jesse, and if Jesse's not on the show, then fuck you." And so you kind of like made your way into the show. Now we're what three hundred and twenty episodes deep. Can't go back now. I'd, I would have to start a different show, probably. Yeah, yeah. And you're in the works with that, right? I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to start a whole new show. Boy, could Listen. you? I'm the Seacrest of podcasts right now. At this point, I'm doing what six a week. Yeah. Could you imagine another one on top of that? I think you're. You know, you're ticking all the boxes. You've got like drinking bros, where you guys Dudes. just talk shit, talk about you know whatever guys sex dolls. Talk about. Yeah, sex yeah. dolls and beer. Yeah. Right. We talk about beer a lot. Beer. <laughs> And then we got the Drinking Bros Sports, Sports Companion which is Show. Like you take that box. Yeah. And then you have a, a gal. <laughs> a gal on the show. You know, talk about uh, things gals like to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is great. Which is great. I could see you, though, rocking a show with another girl. Um, I think so. In, in the same way that the sports show for you is stuff that you can't talk about with me, right? Right. I think that a show with another girl, I would be able to really delve into the things that you start checking out for. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like when I mention Bravo, you shut down. So it's like if I was with a, sure. another girl or there's just, it's just true that guys and girls are different. No, it is. What I, we I, care I, about, what all, we want to talk about around, yeah. and like our rapport is 
is, you know, a guy and a girl. Because I, I, like, we're not talking about. When I see real, real housewives of New Jersey, right? Or whatever it sure. is. Sure. All I think about is the real husbands that work to pay for that shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, where is their story? Oh, they're at work. They're at work. They're at work. Mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. I saw that girl's house the other day, Lisa Vanderpump, Vanderpump oh. Rules. Yeah. My God, man. Uh, I caught a piece of that. Who was over? Your sister was over. You guys were watching. It. Yeah. And I caught, you know, a good 10, 15 of that. She had what appeared to be a salon in her house. Oh, yeah, they all do. Uh, a place for the masseuse, like a, a separate room for the masseuse. Um, That's what we all as women see. This is something I would talk about with a woman, a girl, which is like that is what we all aspire to. It's what we talk about all the time that if we were rich, the one thing that we would get is a glam squad. So like the one thing that we're all like most envious of is that Kim Kardashian, all of them, they get up in the morning and as they're having their coffee, they just get beautified. somebody's doing their makeup. Somebody's in here. doing all of that because really it helps us throughout the day. Yeah. We really get so much done when we're like looking good, makeup's done, hair's done. Right. So uh, that's huge. I, that's I, the I first understand thing that, that any girl will put into their house. It's if they extremely get rich. time consuming. It's time um, consuming. It's just sort of like, ugh. yeah. No, I get it. Here we go again. I get it. So, but but, the, but the, a, the payroll of that is fucking oh, insane. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, mean, just the square footage, first of all, for the salon. Yeah. Um, everything that goes in that you need to put in there. And then paying a random person to come to your house every morning. To do your hair and makeup. Because Kardashians, they get there, I'm guessing, probably six or seven in the morning. Really? Cause they do they get up that early? To, um... They get kids and shit, so I would imagine. They have kids and shit, A, but like B, whenever they're coming down the stairs, whether it's like morning coffee or whatever, they have to be done up. So if they have like a yeah, so if they have a breakfast shot or whatever, right? And in order to get no no makeup shots, you literally have to have makeup on every day because if you have one time, that's what they're gonna use. That's the so they before they even showed their face down into where the cameras are, whatever mm-hmm. it may be, they have to be fully glammed. Got it. Got it. Got so it. So that means that person is showing up, blah, blah, blah. Oof. Same with the real housewives. Man, man. I, look, I think the, the Kardashian schedule, though, they shoot, what, three, five, three to five months out of the year. If I didn't have any downtime where I could just hang out in my pages and just say, fuck it, that would be so depressing, I think. Yeah. That would, that, would, that would be too much to get that made up every single day. Because, I mean, you know, look, we, when I do these movies and, you know, we go to these premieres and all that shit, like, you do a movie and you're like that every day. I remember, like, when you do the big ones, when it's like three months, four months on a movie. Mm-hmm. For those, I remember my biggest, like, treat or joy was not having to get makeup every morning. Not yeah. uh, being able to, to go unshaven, that mm-hmm. type of shit where I was just like, oh, man. I'm just going to, I think, because everybody asks, like, why do I enjoy having a mustache that, mu- that much? That was, that, that was part of it, it's to easy. be honest, where I was just like, I only shave half my face today. I, w- I would have grown a beard, but I can't, I don't, I right. can't connect the dots. It's sure. too patchy. A little patchy. Yeah. So I, I enjoy a stash. So at least that's half my face where I'm like, sure. all right, great. I don't care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I enjoyed about doing Barnes Brothers was I had a mustache and I was like, eh, great. Easy. Yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. We might get to do it again. We'll see. Barnes Brothers? Ah, That'd be the dream. Just went out. Um, just went out to uh, a few networks a couple days ago. Clayne and I, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll oh. see what happens. Uh, we, got a, we got a big show here, and I've whoa, just been whoa, rambling whoa, on like a little, gosh. like a loose alligator on about a plane. God knows what. Yeah, I, El, El Chapo was guilty. I'm surprised about that. We're going to talk about that. Talk about Jussie. Jesse Smollett too. Jesse. Nobody's With talking about. Nobody's talking about this. <laughs> and uh, yeah. With the news. Yeah. If you haven't it's seen that just, Hodge twins you sketch, you have to watch this. That she's referring to. They do it's two so videos back to back as things come out about God. this case. Hodge twins. Hilarious. Hilarious. They were on Drinking Bros, and that was one of our highest downloaded episodes ever. They were. They're really, uh, really, really fucking funny. Um, and by the way, they were just saying, if this happened, it's a tragedy. Yeah. yeah, If it's real. (sighs) Right. So they keep on being like, 
But if this happened, yeah. no good, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. With a noose. <laughs> just sitting, just sitting there waiting with the noose and the bleach. Yeah. 20 degrees. At minus 20. It was minus, minus 20 that night. Minus 20. We'll get to that, James. Sorry, we got, sorry, we got sorry, sponsors. Sorry, we got sponsors to get Spark. put this whole shit on the air. Spark. Black Rifle Coffee, first and foremost. A uh, little BRCC to start the day. I got it. I got it right now. We're doing a little morning show today. You've got your little daily harvest. I got some black yes, rifle. Yes, but there is a uh, black rifle in here because it's a cold brew almond. Really smoothie. So I put a little. Ah, that's nice. Put a little extra. They never put enough coffee. No, they never the do. The only people that really give me enough caffeine are black rifle. I, I, I feel like they're afraid of of people losing their shit. That's why they don't. I think do they it. don't understand like how how much how caffeine. much people really want. But I've I've met people who you know only require a tiny bit of caffeine. I need a lot to get the day going. Oof. Um, but there, there's some people who are just like, oh my god, I can a can of soda. I'm fucking bonkers. <laughs> yeah. Get off my lawn with that shit. I, I have need... a friend that's like that. Uh, Where if they're like weird, they're like, sorry, I just had a cup of coffee today. I shouldn't have had that cup of coffee. And it's yeah, like, like, if you know you get that fucking weird, yeah. why are you even risking it? <laughs> Again, risk versus reward. Like, what are you getting out of that? The risk versus reward is, is, is worth it at BlackRifleCoffee.com. Finest coffee in the business. They're, they're also doing decaf right now. Um, so, you know, they, they yeah, they caved. You have to. They caved to... Uh, Look, when you're the pregnant pressures of or the like, where I just, get it. I get it. Look, I got, they got K cups, bags, all that shit. Go to blackriflecoffee.com. One time promo code revolution for 20% off. Use it on the subscription of the month. It just came yesterday. They don't miss. Uh, comes same date every single month. And I love it. Uh, next up, we've got ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. How do I love the ghost bed? Let me count the ways. One. It's one today. Uh, you know why? Why? Ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros is giving 15% off extra to anybody who's a military or first responder. Boom. You get an extra 15% off the mattresses. That's real. That's a lot. A lot of money. A lot of money. Uh, they're doing big things. And, and look. The, you still get the other savings, too, that are going on over there. They got a seven ninety nine bundle, bundle package. They got uh, $100 off a mattress, $200 off a Ghost Lux mattress, which is that cooling one we were talking about. Um, and the, the 36 months pay as you go program is redonkulous. It doesn't seem legal. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, finest mattress in the biz. We have, they're, they're in every single room of our house. We love those guys. I uh, love them even more now that they did this. Because our look, our audience is fifty fifty percent. Our demo is uh, military and first responders, so yeah, it's a lot of people, man. Um, big Get savings over savings. there, yeah, yeah. If, if you need a mattress, huge. go do it. Uh, GhostBed dot com forward slash Drinking Bros. Depending you can on get which those one you dolls. depending on which one you get, it could be like up to two, like one hundred fifty off. Yeah, and, and an extra one hundred and fifty, yeah, yeah, an yeah, extra yeah. two hundred bucks off. Like, nice. it's amazing, man. Uh, next up, we got. StrikeForceEnergy.com. Strikeforce Energy. I feel nervous today, James. Why? I don't know. We're about to talk about the El Chapo thing. I feel like he's watching. I feel like he's watching. Thumbs up. Yep. <laughs> that would make me nervous, dude. Wow. If I was a juror and I saw because he gave thumbs up yep. to, his, to his girlfriend. Yeah. And she just. Exactly. Ooh, Stone I'm dead. cold. That means I'm dead. Kill I just all. got the thumbs up to kill, all, to kill me. Yeah. Uh, Strikeforce. Well, they're the drink of El Chapo. <laughs> He's got to keep his energy up in prison now, Javes. He's oh. in there for life. He's uh, always been such a sloth. Uh, uh, lemon, a ridge, grape, orange. Do it now. Strikeforceenergy.com. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. Rests on your bar top or countertops. You can boom, boom. Pop a couple squirts in and go. No carbs and sugars for, for everybody on a diet right now. And if you're crashing in the afternoon... This is the jam. This will get you back up and going. Uh, lasts longer than five-hour energy as well. They ship everywhere in the entire world, and you know that promo code of REVOLUTION for 20% off is good every time. Get a subscription to that. Shit, man, we do. Um, and it comes in these boxes that you see on the desk on the video show. at StrikeForceEnergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Subscribe on YouTube to the show so you can see these boxes. Um, next up. <laughs> 
Last but not least, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Are you right? <laughs> Oof, boy. Hi. Yeah, again, if you're watching on video, you can see my eyes almost cross over how loud that is in my headphones. That was a, that was almost too long for you. You I, were about to. I had a conversation with somebody yesterday who was just like, "Hey, man, I was listening to your show, uh, you know," and I kind of cherry pick through episodes or whatever because you know we have what 320 something in our catalog at this point. And I was like, "Yeah, yeah," and he goes. How long is your wife going to be able to get away with you? Rake it. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I and how really long know. do you guys want me to do it? Like there's a, there's <laughs> going to be a point where I'm just like, are we still, there's a guy named Gordon Wagner who time codes all of them on, on video. I think it would upset him. And I don't know if we want to go against Gordon Wagner. Okay. So I'm here for, I'm here for all of, of, of this shit. I'll, I'll keep it going forever. Oh uh, that was another question too. With like Barnes brothers, there was some, curious things in there where they were like man is that okay in today's society and i was like fuck i'm done with answering to people about it so it's up to them i don't whatever the networks are going to say they're going to say fuck it i i don't care anymore i don't care about this either so yeah who gives a shit yeah uh we'll probably keep doing it and that's the answer for a very long time (laughs) probably yeah until we we get alex jones and they fucking shut us down or something yeah then uh you know oh my lord we'll be under the bridge you know it's just singing Yep. Singing with people. T-Mobile account. Yep. Gold's Gym. Dad watching other people's podcasts. Yep. (laughs) Just like, we used to have. We used to have a show back in the day. Uh, Straightrazors.com, though, is where you can go to to feel Asian smooth. Yeah, let's really push it then if we're going to push it. Uh, Really fresh Asian smooth. Look, let's face it. If you're a dude out there, is there anything more in this life than you want than Asian smooth? For real. You get older. I saw a guy at the gym with fucking hair on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Just, but it was all just on the shoulders, not biceps, not on these guys, just Just on the shoulder. Just on the shoulder, yeah. I was like, God damn it, man, that's awful. Sure. Straight razor that shit off. Like, get get rid of it. Laser it off. Like, imagine going through life. He was wearing a tank top. Guy like that shouldn't be wearing a fucking tank top. If you are though, go get yourself a straight razor and become like an Asian. Those guys, man, smooth as smooth as silk. Right. Jealous of that culture. You know? Yeah. Man, because I'm, look, I'm hair, I'm pretty hairless myself, but not like that. That's great. Because as you get older, you get hairs, you know, in weird places for a lot of people. Well, I'm fortunate and I've not yet. Oh, I was going to ask. Where? No. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm fortunate I have not yet, but there, you know, you see other people and you're like, oh man, that fucking sucks. Yeah. Like a weird patch of back hair. Sure. You ever seen that where you're just like, oh, God damn, man. When did that creep up? <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. How did that happen to you? Right. Uh, so, you know, if you want to avoid it, get a straight razor from straightrazors.com. Shave it off. Shave it off. I'm sure it won't grow back. <laughs> yeah. Shaving is just a one-time thing, right? That's and it. Then, it's all you do. And then it's gone. At straightrazors.com. You can use the promo code revolution for 20% off. And as always, you can get uh, at night. She cries while he rides the steed. And when darkness falls, he doesn't catch it. The two greatest masterpieces ever written by master Orenthal James Simpson Patterson, Diego Rivera. Um, that's me. And the audiobooks are six and a half hours a piece of pure magic of me and Jabe's highest rated book on Audible. Still, still to this day. Jabe's, let's get an El Chapo here. He's guilty. And then he gave sure the thumbs you wanna, up. Sure you want to talk to, about it? I said I felt nervous earlier. And he gave the thumbs up. Just the, you thumbs know. Thumbs up to the girlfriend. The girlfriend gave the thumbs up back. What is that? It means everybody's dead. Everyone's going to die. I thought... It's the go, it's giving her the go ahead. I, I thought what the the judge said to the jury afterwards was fascinating because this trial was wild across the board. I mean, you really got into aspects of every single square foot of the Mexican cartel, what they were paying off the government, how many people they killed, who was killing these people. I mean, mm-hmm. all these people were flipping on El Chapo and and all this other shit mm-hmm. and. Um, the jury, if you're on that jury, you know, look, you could sell a book for a lot of dollars. The judge said, hey, man, you guys are anonymous right now. It is your choice. I, I, I cannot force you to be anonymous about this forever. It is your choice as a juror if you want to come out and talk about this trial publicly and get a book deal and all that other shit. But he goes, he said, once, once you do this, you cannot go back. 
Like, I'm not going to protect you, basically. There's nothing you can do at that point. I would not do it. No. This is making me <laughs> nervous even just thinking about that. Like, oh, can you imagine? So, but let's say this, right? Because we know how books work. We know the ins and outs in it. Let's say a company comes in and says, hey, man, we'll give you $2 million for this, this tell-all book as, as the first year out. Do you turn down $2 million is the question. Yeah, well, you're going to have to figure your life out after that, though. Move? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because... <sighs> yeah, too no. risky, right? Because no. here's my thought process behind this, and I posted this yesterday uh, on my Twitter feed, was if you really think about this whole trial in the grand scheme of things, Sh Sean Penn brought down El Chapo. Right. They f they, he's still alive. He's still alive. I would have thought, um, and we talked about this you know, when it happened... I would have thought he would have been killed by now. By, by one of those cartel guys, easily. Just, you know, Sean Penn nuked. All you had or to do lady. is go hang out in Venice at a, you know, out of fucking bullshit vegan place or a coffee house, and you can find him, like, tomorrow, probably. Or at a Colby, Colby well, the girl, Colby concert. The girl was a different story, because I think they were fucking, and, like, you know, she, look, he did want to make a movie about his life, which is why he called this girl. Okay. This girl, I, I think, after watching that documentary on Netflix, you know, look, she got to Sean Penn, so it was just like, dude, if Sean Penn gets involved in an El Chapo picture, it could probably happen. Like, he could, he could easily green light that. Sure. But the fact that he was just like, ah, I'm not really sure about bringing Sean Penn down, and then boom, Sean Penn, because he wanted a picture, and then that, that picture was what helped get, get him. I'm surprised Sean Penn's still alive. So... Knowing Sean Penn is still alive. If you're right. a juror, how do you turn like, down two million and be like, all right, Sean Penn's still alive. Fuck it. Because I, because I think he still is enamored with Sean Penn. He still loves that. I think he's still in love with no. Hollywood. No. Being in jail? Isolation for 23 and a half I hours a day? he still doesn't blame Chapo. I think he would kill a juror in a second. Really? Over so, Sean so you think Penn. you think El Chapo doesn't blame Sean Penn, but he would he he would kill a juror? Yeah. Oof. I don't know, man. I I don't see how you don't blame Sean Penn. I really Sean don't. Sean Penn. Yeah. Biblioteca Sean Penn. On a bicycle item, biblioteca no, Sean Penn. Yeah. Um. I would have thought he would have been iced by now, and that yeah, been and maybe it. he doesn't have the 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 people out there to do it anymore. Maybe sophisticated enough to get over the border <laughs> undetected. Everybody's getting over the fucking border. That's why they want the wall. That should be easy. That should be the easiest part. Popping off Sean Penn in broad daylight on a, you know, on Venice Boulevard would be the hard part. Right. What's that one street? Abbott Kinney. Abbott Kinney. If you roll around Abbott Kinney, you can find Sean Penn. You like, can find Sh Sean every Penn. Everybody knows that, you know, Sean Penn. Crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy to me that he's, he's, he's been able to live through the shit. Because what, what was the last documentary he was working on over in... Uh... Fuck. Totally D? No. Um, -la -la -la. You know You know what I'm talking about. He did the... Was it the Putin one? Uh, yes, wasn't he? Some kind, of, some kind of Russian what have you? It, it was either Putin or... No, it's Khashoggi. That's it. Khashoggi's, dude. He was working on the Khashoggi one. So is was, or was? Is. He was. He, he, Currently. I, he just got back, yeah. Okay. So that, that was two months over there in Turkey. Death. And Turkey doesn't fuck around with that stupid shit. Clearly not. So how does he get away with that? Jump in. I mean, maybe. He, how is that guy above the fucking law like this for this does many he years? Have, like constant I mean, security? He, he knocked out Madonna. No, he doesn't. I've seen him out. Knocked out. I've seen him out. He doesn't have security. And he's not very big. Like he's a little man. Okay. I would say five. If I'm being generous with, with Champagne, Champagne, five seven, five eight. And that's me being generous. I don't know. I would I, just looking. So at him. Brianna. So my sister. Right. Um. Her best friend is Colby Calais. Yeah. And I guess Champagne is in love with Colby. Mm. And like they go, he they go to the, his house a couple times. He comes to like events that she does or whatever. He knows she has a fiance. All of this, he's just like loves. Her. She's enamored with her. Enamored right. with her, like she's cute and cool and all of that stuff. But he goes, she's like, I'm five nine. He's, I mean, 
yeah. good. Yeah. You know what He's I mean? A little like man. a good head yeah. under me. Might be might, might be five six. Right? Like she was like, He's a might little be. taller than you. Like she was yeah. like, I don't know. Um older guy but she was like he's, he's a pimpy cool. dude he's yeah, a, yeah. Look, he's a pimpy ripped amazing actor dude and he's cool you know, and she's like when he tells stories oh you like, it's you not, everybody says he's the it. best storyteller yeah. of all time because he's yeah. look he's been with el chapo Khashoggi. uh who is the dictator down in in cuba god damn it man chavez yeah he's been with chavez in uh venezuela venezuela Hugo Chavez, mm-hmm. um, who in Cuba, uh, Castro, he's been oh, out, yeah, yeah, he yeah. did the Castro thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think he did a Putin thing. Like the dude's been everywhere you could go. Imagine his fucking stories. I get his whole shit of how these women get wrapped up in it and right. he's shredded. Like he's on clean HGH. He looks great. Sure. He looks great. Sure. I hope I look like that at that age. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably won't, but I hope I do. And He's like uh, low key dating Jewel a little bit. Why not? If totally. you could, if you, if, if you could, why not? You look, know, look. It was Charlize Theron. Remember that whole thing? Yeah. What happened there? Cheated on her. What do you think happened? Fucking cheated on her. With and, Jewel? Yeah. He, well, I don't know who it was with, but he got caught. She was like, "F, f this, dude. I'm out." She was all in. Theron was all in. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, man, that guy's got nine lives. He just doesn't stop. Good for him. Fuck, I wish I could get away with that shit. It's the kind of thing where you just go, oh, it's just, it's just Sean. You know what I mean? Like, it is. Beating up Madonna, whatever he does. Like, it's just Sean Penn. I know. Everybody, nobody's, nobody cares. Bringing down El Chapo. Like, yeah, just, and then, like. He's just hanging out. He was at a like, Madonna happen. concert, what, last year or year, two years ago? And you're like, oh, yeah, cool. It doesn't matter. It's fucking Sean Penn's guess above the law. Guess they're cool now. And by the way, I'm not saying I want to beat, beat you, obviously. Um, but. I beat Madonna. You'd beat Madonna. Yeah, I, I, would, I would like to take a swing at Madonna. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. just, you know, so, like, as a playful thing. I how that thing, but, whole thing happened. Yeah, just more yeah. of a playful thing in the you sure, know, sure, 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 sure. Uh, bedroom stitch. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, really? Eh, not now. Old school Madonna? Absolutely. Sure. That was everybody's jam. Sure, 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 sure. Now sure. it's, you know. Very sinewy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Very sinewy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Lots of tendons showing. You have to work out that hard to, you know, it's tough. To what? To 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 maintain. I mean, shit, dude. When you're she's what, sixty five, maybe? Yeah. And somewhere in there, somewhere in that 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 range. She looks she looks great for her age. Mm-hmm. Um I don't know why she's running around wearing gold teeth and shit now, but fuck the rest of it. The rest of it. I mean, look, after interviewing all the people I've gotten to interview on these shows, it's pretty rad to get to know somebody just for even an hour of, of that magnitude where you're like, man, I wonder what the fucking turmoil was or trying to figure it out or whatever. Like uh, Bobby Knight, you Mm -hmm. know, Bobby Knight was one of those guys for me where I was just like, I decided, you know, when I did that interview, to, to, to go against the grain, not ask him about choking that kid or throwing the chair, because everybody heard that a million times. I just wanted to ask about, like, genuinely about his life. Yeah. And At what a certain makes point, him it's excited. like, you've heard all the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, about what makes him excited. Yeah. And then it's interesting to be in these people's presence, because you can still see that fire in them. Like, yeah. There'll be a switch for, like, three seconds. And that's the most exciting part of it, where you're like, oh, fuck. That's who you are or right. used to be right. at that level. And you're like, oh, man. Right. Like uh, Castro, like, like Sean Penn sitting down with Castro. Right. I wonder what that whole fucking stitch was like. Of like, man, I did this, this, and this, and this, and we can do this. And it's crazy. And I wonder, I guess, with Sean being like, like my sister said, or many people have said, like, just there's such an engaging storyteller. You just feel so yeah. like, locked in with him. That like maybe he, d- I mean he, you get how he got Chapo to talk or take a picture with him or sure all of these people because like a they know who he is because Hollywood is still king or yeah. everywhere yeah and he's worked so with everybody a, right and he's then partied with everybody he's sure. been married to everybody or right dated everybody right I mean so B it's like yeah they're they're already he's already a step above them when they meet they're already yeah. like. Yeah. Enamored with him. And then him being just who he is. Maybe Sean Penn is more like prolific than we think. 
Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Where I, you're just like, ah, how did fucking crazy Sean Penn drink tequila with that person? And then I think it's maybe more than I, that. I would, I, hands down, I'd love to sit down and, and have him on the show or interview him or whatever. It'd be, it'd be fascinating. See, Absolutely. Like, and, and I would ask him this shit. I'd be like, dude, you are above the law, my, my dude. I how is that to possible? My, I talked to my sister and she was like, he's really just not into like, I mean, anyone taking pictures, any selfies, talking to him about anything. So, like, as far I'm as like, sure. being on the show, oh, I, I, I was like, no. "Hey, not in a million what do you years. Think? Can yeah. we just like talk to him for a second? She was like, "He doesn't even like no. people taking like a picture. Nope, no, he doesn't like any. The of El it. Chapo thing was something he wanted to do or whatever, but sure. it's like he's so old school where it's just like, no, I'm not taking a selfie with well, you. Well, you know why? You know why he needed that picture, right? Yeah." For the, the interview at Rolling Stone, they said, hey, we want proof yes. that you're actually with yeah. him. And he's, yeah. so they were like, great, take a picture. And that's what that picture's yeah. for. That's going around the internet. But, uh, you know, bigger picture for this. So Al Chapo's gone for life at this point. Uh, even the lawyer was just like, I don't think we're going to appeal. We left it all out on the battlefield is what he said. And, mm-hmm. um, and I look, he, they did. I mean, that trial went on for months. The prosecuting uh, attorney was named Ray Donovan. So Really? Yeah. That's funny. Are you sure? Um, but, uh, you, you know, he, he's in jail. There's $15 billion that was seized by the government um, for it. They're trying to pass this uh, bill that they want to use the $15 billion to pay for the wall, which I think is really, really Dang, interesting. Yes. Yeah. And I know Ted Cruz signed it yesterday. Um, okay. So, they, look, it, it is a, like, Texas is the one, the big ones behind this, of like, hey, we want this money to pay for this wall. Okay. Uh, if you seize 15 billion of drug money that was being shuttled in underground through America, all this shit, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to keep that money and do whatever, do whatever you want with it. I think border security for what happened with El Chapo and digging the tunnels underground and all that shit would be a great, not lesson for the world or, you know, for Mexico or anybody else who's trying to come up of like, Hey, not only will you go to jail for life, but you're also building security for us by doing it. I w- it would be great if the money went to that. We'll see. I'm sure we'll see if- the Democrats will want some fucking green mailbox or something, you know? <laughs> oh, and it's energy stored in your mailbox. And guess what? When you open it up, it's not going to be dark in there anymore. There's going to be a light on so you can see your fucking mail because it's all solar powered. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Some, yeah, some yeah. stupid fucking bullshit like that. Uh, I, I think they should use it. With all that said, if you do, that means Sean Penn was not only responsible for getting El Chapo life in prison, but, but he was also wall. responsible for building the wall. Oh, Sean Penn. <laughs> you go down as an all-timer after uh, that. You know what I'm saying? Sean they should Penn, build a I fucking... I don't know what high school he went to, but they should build a fucking statue of that guy if that goes down. He chain smokes too. and I, I would, Oh, I would, chain I would, smokes. I would have a, a little ciggy with him and just be like, what the fuck is your deal? Yeah, what's your story, what's brother? Your story, bro. Yeah. He likes blondes, so I may be able to Yeah, you could talk to him. You could scoot in there, I think. Yeah. You're a sexy lady. Sure. I think he'd be into you. I know. You're hot, Jabes. I get it. I get it. I think Sean Penn would be down. <laughs> Keep going. I think he'd be down for the crown, you know? Sure. I, uh, your, I don't know. Again, I don't know why it always slips into a Springsteen. That's Springsteen. Because With those type not, of people who just yeah. kind of whisper, lower whisper like or that. Or you don't hear him talk a lot. So you kind of like, you, his voice isn't yeah. prominent in right. your mind's brain. Yeah. yeah. Either way, I can see him sitting down with you, you know, just kind of. Sure. Like, uh, maybe one two finger in your knee, you know, just kind of that, that little tappy. Mm-hmm. Little, one, little one two finger tap on the knee of like, hey. I gotta move in closer because I don't want anyone else to hear this story. I don't hear so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A right? uh, percussion grenade went off in uh, Nicaragua when right. I was down there interviewing. A lot of that. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to handle some Sean fucking... Penn. <laughs> if Sean Penn can't joke around, then same with Depp, right? What if he can? What if, oh, he, if, he, what if can, he can? It's over. God damn it. If he's able to have a sense of humor about his whole shit, it'd be over. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they. I don't think they do. I don't think Sean Penn does. I don't think Johnny Depp does either. Johnny Depp definitely doesn't. I, I think don't. Brad Pitt, Clooney, all those guys do. I think they do. They do. I'm telling you, they do. I think in their private moments, they're like this fucking shit. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> like Matt Damon does. Yeah, for sure. Like yeah. I've so I've caught him in a I couple. I think there moments are where it's just some. Like, yeah. 
But I, th- yeah. There's a lot though that aren't where you're just like, oh, I'm sorry, you actually are wrapped up in all your bullshit that you believe. Even B Coops, he's wrapped up in it. Eh, I don't know. I, I feel like you could have a good, a good combo with with B Coops. We saw that thing last night. Yeah. Um, I like B Coops. I like Bradley Cooper. Me too. Um, even you know whatever he takes the shit seriously. At least it is what it is, man. I, you know, at least he's fucking doing it. That guy has pulled off some impossible feats. He really has. No, I mean, for real. Star is Born, we, we've gone over this. But we panned it. Everybody else panned it before we even saw it. Before yep. Nobody gave it a chance. I certainly didn't. You didn't. Mm-mm. Hollywood didn't. Mm-mm. Made it on his own. Um, uh, the other one was American Sniper. Nobody knows this story either. After The Hangover blew up, they were like, you can do whatever you want. And he was like, this fucking book needs to be made now. And I'm, he walked that into the studio and said, this is my next starring picture. I'm doing it. And they were like, he all bought right. the rights like way before he, he just he did all of it. Like he commandeered that entire project and made that happen because that that had been in the works for a while. And like he was just like, this is fucking bullshit. Why is nobody telling this story? I'm doing this right now. And walked mm-hmm. in, did it. And boom. I mean, he does shit like that where you're like, oh, man, that nobody does shit like that. Yeah. So, I mean, even uh, that, that movie we saw yesterday, the, the trailer yesterday. Literally oh, for yesterday. Th- th- that holy shit was that incredible oh, or what? I'm so in. I know. I'm so in. It's so so if, if, if you don't know what we're talking about at home, I know. I like I miss original fun stories like that. So like that, I'll go see opening night. Um, for sure. One of my favorite directors, probably everybody's, is uh, uh, Danny, Danny Boyle. Boyle. Yeah, Danny Boyle's directed ah, The Beach is still. It's my. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. Um, if you're watching the video show, if I keep scratching my nose, it's not because I'm doing blow. These microphones get itchy. Because I used to do blow. Yeah, yeah. it's because I used to do nose candy. <laughs> my whole my whole septum's gonna collapse. Not currently. Yeah. But we saw we saw the trailer for this. Danny Boyle's done uh, 127 hours. Uh, the beach, fucking uh, train spotting. Uh, God, there's there's another big one I'm missing. A uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah. Um, you like the guy is brilliant and he got kicked off of James Bond. They just creative differences. He was going to do it actually. Okay. And he was just, I can see the Bond producers not being stoked with his vision. No, but that's why he's awesome. And they're like, I know basic. I know. Uh, anyways, with that being said, he said, fuck you guys with the Bond thing. I'll go make this other movie. This other movie, the trailer came out and it's called yesterday which is named after the Beatles song. And it's about a guy, like a, an Indian guy, Pierce. Just rando dude. Yeah. Yep. Who, the, he wakes, he's a big Beatles fan. Uh, gets in, looks like a car accident or something, mm-hmm. or, or he gets hit, hit on a bike. Doesn't really show that he's like a Beatles fan, but he, some. He's a musician. He knows somehow, all the music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a musician. Somehow he crashes, hits the ground. There's some kind of lightning sort of a thing of right. whatever. So he wait, when he wakes up, the entire world has never ever heard of the Beatles. They have never existed. So he's just playing yesterday yeah. for like his family. Yeah. And they go, oh my God, what, where did, did you write that? And they're <laughs> like, he's just laughing and it's like laughing it off. And then he, he slowly realizes that nobody knows Beatles songs. So the, the, he knows the Beatles have them. never existed in human existence. He knows all of the Beatles songs. So, so therefore he's just cashing in, he's playing every single Beatles song ever. And he becomes the biggest musician in the world. And he's got this secret and it's, it was so uh, good. And so like, it was one of those ideas. You just think like, Oh my God, the whole catalog. So he's thinking like, I want to hold. Hey hand. Jude. Hey yeah. Jude. He's just like, <laughs> you, you start hearing and you're like, Oh my God, can you imagine if you just heard that for the first time? And there's a clip where he's on James Corden, uh, you know, the late night show. And they were like, man, you're so brilliant. Could you just write a song on the spot for this like famous actress? Maker, and then he yeah. just, boom, he just starts playing and just, everybody's like, Oh my God, this is amazing. Something in the way you move or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. It's just like, <laughs> oh God. And uh he was working with Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Ed Sheeran's like, Do you want to try Hey Dude instead of Hey Jude? He's just like, What the fuck is Yeah. That? Yeah, what the fuck's wrong with you, Ed Sheeran? Um Sheeran. Yeah. Dude dude dude. But it looks amazing. Super stoked. Super it's just stoked. It's a really on that. fun, it seems like a fun concept. And but like, you need Danny Boyle to come in and execute absolutely, that. Absolutely. Because the I whole time how. I go, how did they get all this fucking music? I know. Danny Boyle goes to talk to fucking Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney. or whoever. Yeah. I think because McCartney, I believe, owns it now. 
Um, he must, right? Yeah. So, man, that's a big boy move. Either way, it's cool the Beatles for letting him have it. Shit. That's yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Like, I'm stoked to see it. Stoked to see it. I'm, I'm stoked to see where this uh, Jesse Smollett thing goes, by the way. Jesse. Jesse. It's Jesse, not so We Jessie. tease this at the top. I, we're going to talk about it because nobody else will, really. They won't touch it, huh? No. Uh. So the, the big hubbub, if you will, the hullabaloo, the haberdashery that's going on with this thing, the, the, the guy from Empire who was allegedly hung with a noose, bleached in his face. Noose wrapped around his head. So he Called him the N-word, the F-word. Two in the morning, three in the morning. And then said this is MAGA country. Around yeah. two in the morning. Around 2, 2.30 in the morning. Noose, yep. bleach, ski masks. In Chicago. In Chicago. Super liberal city. Beat up. Got a little cut under the eye. Yeah. Beat up by these guys. Two guys. Nope. Um, with a noose. Yeah. And, be- and bleach. Negative 20 degrees. They scombed the city, the police. They found every stitch of foot, over 600 hours worth of surveillance footage. Where he was in this city, they had virtu- cameras virtually everywhere. Everywhere. They have pared it down to about 60 seconds that they cannot find. So that's it through his entire nights. Sure. Can't find 60 seconds of where this is. Mm -hmm. However, they have him going into the building, out of the building. None of this shit is wrong with them. They can't find the attack. They can't find any of it. They've asked for his phone records. I've asked for his his cell phone. He said, look, give us your cell phone. Because I I guess you said he was talking to his manager when he got attacked. The Mm -hmm. manager said, I heard these people scream out MAGA country, all this other shit. And they were like, great. Give us your phone really? records and we'll try to match this up. And then that way we can go back through the footage and time that conversation up with our footage and mm-hmm. see where this might have happened and try to find some more shit. Mm-hmm. He said, no, I can't give you my phone. For, they, they needed it for three hours to download the, the, the phone records and his pin location and all that shit. He said, no, I can't do that because I'm important and I need it for set and everything else. Sure. Okay. Maybe I'll maybe I'll understand that. That's fine. Or maybe you got some shit on your phone, some pics, some dick pics. Hey, look. You doing blow? Whatever it is, I it's don't care. Cool. I don't judge. Don't it's give a cool, shit. Dude. So then the police ask. All right. Well, great. If you can't, just give me your phone records. Just give me the phone records. Call Verizon or AT and T or whatever. Uh, since it was just recent, and give us your phone records. And he turned in a PDF of phone records that were cut, copy and pasted from something. Basically, like he just typed in like numbers that he called, sent a PDF, like. Correct. Not phone record. They aren't phone records. So the police went back and said, hey, Jesse, um, anybody could manipulate this. We need the actual just fucking the actual. actual fucking phone records. And he, he came back and said, no, there's too many important people's phone numbers on there that they need to be redacted or whatever. And they were like. Man, we're just trying to isolate this one call that you made at this time in the morning or whatever. The news will not touch this story mm-hmm. uh, whatsoever because they're afraid of, if this is real, the backlash of, of calling this guy out on a hoax. Mm-hmm. Uh, neither will the police department. Now, the police department, I understand. Because, look, police are under fire every fucking day for some shit. And especially in Chicago. Mm-hmm. It's it's not like but the south side of Chicago is a big want, fan of police. He doesn't want these uh, guys to be found. So, do you know what I'm saying? Because he clearly, if it did really happen, he's not trying to help in any way. So, case closed, right? Or I'm just wondering he, why the he case made a is statement still yesterday open. saying I've been fully a cooperative and all this other shit and the, even the police are t- treating this with kid gloves of like hey man we just want this and this and this we're still and they, said, and they said and they said we're still investigating this as a hate crime but it would be helpful for you to turn over your phone records so we could try to pare this down. We have every single stitch of video footage from all over the fucking city, except for this one thing and where you were. And uh, nothing is really matching what you said, because when you went into the building and out of the building, there was none of that shit on mm-hmm. you. So where the fuck did so this sh- happen? They have him going in back into his, his like, building. hotel. Yeah, yeah or, or, uh, building or hotel or whatever it is. And, uh, you know, they have him walking out of his place with a new son. So what happened and where was it? Or did it happen? 
is the big question. The reason why the news won't touch it and call this what it is probably is, is, is a hoax at this point is because if it did happen, then you are racist and against him and right. blah, 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 blah. Uh, now, if it didn't and it turns out to be a hoax, what kind of can of worms does that open up for the rest of the, the world and what's going on today? I mean, for, for somebody of that magnitude on a, on a big TV show that is predominantly black to come out and say, hey, it was Trump supporters and this was MAGA country and all this other shit, that's dangerous waters right there as well where it's just like, why would you, why would you try to start a race war or, you know? Right. So I don't know. I've looked at all of this and read all these fucking articles and statements. And we had, again, we, got, we have a couple of friends who work in Chicago. Right. Uh, not only for the news stations, but for the yes, police just, department. Yeah, I don't know who None who of them, all of them have, have said to, to us, hey, we don't believe that this happened. It's just a really, really unbelievable story. Yeah. And um, also matching with his picture from the hospital. Yeah. So it's just it's just a scratch under your eye. Um, what else? Was there any broken ribs or anything like this? No. 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 So it, it just seems so crazy. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, how you I've get gotten a, in a fight one time. How you think you can get away with a story like this in today's society is the biggest one to me, especially in Chicago where there's so many cameras. I think you don't think about that because when you're walking down the street, you do not think that there's a camera on you. You just don't. If you're in somebody's driveway, if yeah. you're at a, at a subway, outside the subway, but if you're walking, if I'm walking like under a bridge or just literally on a street somewhere, yeah. It is not in my mind at all that there I, is a I camera. I assume there's cameras everywhere now simply for the fact of, you know, they're, 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 there's always a security camera somewhere and they're so tiny. It seems to be like you got to know now from all the, they always have footage of yeah. everything. So, yes. There I feel is less and less everywhere. confident that I could get away with murder now because. Oh, you can. But there's too many cameras. You take that Roger Stone thing that happened the other night. Um, Mueller just ordered a gag order on, on Roger Stone because mm-hmm. uh, he released, he had security cam footage of the outside of his door and the inside of his house, mm-hmm. which is extreme, but he had it. And uh, he released it to the press of like, I mean, it was a full, it was like they were raiding the house of El Chapo. Right. Way too much. It was <laughs> fucking insane. What was he going to do? Is it was like the armed? military like, showed up. What is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what's happening? This old fucking weird dude. Like, he's, he's not... going to go with you. Yeah. Like, he's not going to not go. It was so excessive that when he, when he dropped that footage, because I, I don't give a fuck about Roger Stone one way or the other. I don't, I don't know him. You know, we watched that weird Netflix doc or whatever. But I looked at it as like, what? There's a 70-year-old man yeah. who's... That likes to ins- I, like, you likes, know. likes to drink cosmopolitans and you know wear right. wear round glasses and that's keep, not the keep guy. The press uh, <laughs> guessing and yeah. give them sound bites. That's all he really does. Yeah. He's not fucking causing he is, any what, real two, two dogs and a wife, Look. like two like Shih Tzus and a wife. I don't. All, I don't think all of that. That I mean, it looked like they were invading a drug dealer's house. Where I was just like, "What you the really fuck is going to make on?" It yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a way bigger deal than it was, and um, yeah, absolutely crazy, right? Crazy. I, so, but, but 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 that being said, he's got what a million cameras. That guy at his fucking place. There's cameras everywhere, man. You can't get away with anything these days. No, you can't. I wish we, I wish we could, man, this is probably impossible, but I wish we could have somebody on maybe from, you know, who had murdered before, but I guess, you know, they'd be outed, obviously. Sure. Maybe somebody in prison of like, hey man, how, when you murdered, how did it go wrong? What was the perfect murder? What was you the know? thing that, yeah. Yeah. Cause there's too much, there's too many cameras now. I can't. There's too many cameras and things like, uh, you know, that lady, the Colorado gal that, um, her and her two kids went missing and the weird husband was like talking to the press yeah, 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 about yeah, whatever no, no so even on his you know he has his company he uses this truck his company has gps right on the truck anytime you turn it on the gps your your location goes to their office and they can just see where you go and what you do yeah so there's all these things that you're like oh 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because so you, at this time in the you morning, look at your phone. you went from your house up to the oil things and whip. It's like all this. You you cannot. There's no way to fly under radar ever anymore unless you're in the backwoods of the backwoods of the backwoods and even then nobody cares about the murder anyway but when you're on your phone like the location pops up now where you're just like all right great when i open up facebook and all these other cities it says welcome to yep wherever the fuck you are what would you like to do today the robo calls like when you get robo calls for your area code yeah when i go to la or like I forget. I have listened to this thing on it, but like they have some kind of geo tracking on you now too, to where like probably when you go to LA, the numbers are going to turn up LA number because they know you're there somehow. Crazy. So it's like stuff like that. Like you just. Yeah. Wild. You can't get away with it. Your phone's listening to you. It's like, Uh. it'll listen to you murder someone too. Yeah. You know? Um, and then, you know, speaking of cameras, obviously, uh, the, the Oscars are coming up and they just announced yesterday that, uh, they're not going to do the awards for cinematography. <laughs> so the actual Very guy good. who's holding the camera, the entire shoot, who's shooting the movie, yep. literally shooting the movie now is not going to be able to give an Oscar speech anymore. Yeah. Um, and then best editing is gone as well. They're going to do that during the commercial breaks and just kind of. Oh, but if we're, we're going to pre-tape their speeches and live stream it on Oscars.com. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nobody fucking goes to that stupid shit and watches Oscars.com thing, to watch the things. The one good thing I will say that may come from this is that when people, best director, best picture, when they get up there, I right. think they're going to be forced to thank by name, possibly cinematographer and editor. I, I think that they, for the most part, do that anyways, except for music i don't know and makeup either so makeup is going to be gone makeup, too. And, makeup and, and uh costume is gone that's going to be gone that's going to be and in then the other so. one was uh short films like the short films which look that one's fine goodbye yeah um you shouldn't be nominated but for i think it's gonna f- i don't think they do they always thank their editor and their yes. cinematographer and be like that's the reason they should but it's not always they're thanking their family. They're having some empowered, you know, platform to talk about the change that this movie has made in the Oof. world. And I think it's maybe hopefully going to take that part away, humble them a little bit. And like, it's not your, it's not going to be their platform completely right then. Right. So they're going to have to share this moment. Sure. Hopefully. I think that's what people do. Right. I mean, you Should. Should. We'll you see. should be like, hey. See if you do. You know. Yeah. By name. If I if I were, but how do you think? I, I, I was thinking about this. Like, I'm not. There is no host. But if I was the host, or if I was a presenter, let's say a presenter with a lot of power, like a Clooney, right? Let's say I'm Clooney and I'm presenting an award. I stop the show right there and bring up whoever won best editor and best cinematographer on stage, right. and let them give their speech. Because you're not going to cut off Clooney. Yeah, and stuff like that. So I think maybe... It's going to take... You're not going to cut off Julie Roberts. No. If, or Oprah. Let's yes. say Oprah is presenting, right? Yes. You are not going to cut off Oprah. I would bring both of those mm-hmm. winners on stage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the hair and makeup. Bring them on stage and say, you know what? We're going to take the fucking time out to do this. Because so, if you cut the 12 dance numbers out of that goddamn show, it's four hours anyways. And right. there's only 24 awards. Right. Great. Let's say you gave everybody four to five minutes a piece to say thanks or whatever. Whether mm-hmm. whether that's interesting for the viewers or not, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? Um, but so, so you look at it like that, right? That's an hour and a half of your time. You still have two hours of that bullshit show that you could fucking nuke. I like hearing the best songs. Somebody had said, look, cut the, the, the best songs. No, that's, the, that's one of the only reasons I'm watching anymore. Right. Is to watch yes. the songs because it's always like famous people playing shit and it's cool. I like that. I don't like the people that come up. Talk about the Academy. The Academy can get fucked. I don't need to hear that stupid speech Mm-mm-mm. for fucking five From minutes. that lady or whatever. Hey, yeah. The Academy is so grateful mm-hmm. to... We can uh, cut that. Price Waterhouse Cooper first yep. uh, holding the awards safe. I don't need to know how we fucking cut, safe the awards are. We can cut the thing of them going through the whole trailer before... Yes. Right? The trailer for every movie. Just do... In the beginning, do it. If a you da, haven't da, 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 seen da, da. the fucking movie itself... A trailer for a refresher isn't going to do it for you. Chances are you're not watching the Oscars. You can cut all that shit. Congratulations. That alone right there. 
Right. But we'll save you a good 45 and you can right. you can let these motherfuckers talk for 15 minutes a piece yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy to me. And all the directors have been speaking out about this. And look, mm-hmm. I, I'm a fucking director. Yeah. Um, granted, my movies are not Oscar worthy or uh, whatever the opposite of that we is. Will not let us in the building. No, we will not be there. We'll but not be there. I can promise you this as a director, the two biggest people that I'm most grateful for on a film are the editor and the cinematographer without them. I am fucked. The actors, I can all replace. Right. I cannot replace a good editor and a good cinematographer. Yeah, Especially or you're if right. they're an Academy Award winner. That means your movie looked pristine. It looked the best right. that it could possibly look. And chances are you're probably going to win Best Picture or something. Yeah. I guess that would be another thing, too. The directors will bring up the editor and the, and the cinematographer and make up people with them if they win. I would, because um, I remember, uh, man, I, I think it was last night or the, the night before, it was either Alfonso Cuaron or, or, or uh, that Guillermo del Toro was like, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah. He was like, look, in the history of film, you've had movies without actors, you've had movies without sound. You've never, ever had one movie made in the history of filmmaking without a cinematographer, <laughs> which is true, or That's an editor. True. Like, it's true. You never just turned on a movies, camera and yeah. let it go, and we're like, "Well, that's it. That it was perfect." Some movies that makeup is very minimal, or we do our own. Like I've done, you know, yeah, yeah, do yeah your own yeah. makeup, or someone doesn't even have any. Like, sure, it's happened. It's happened, but it's rare. Rare and not in the bigger movies for sure. So I don't know. It's crazy, crazy. So I, I hope they change it. These. They need to unfuck themselves, the, the Oscars, somehow. Out of all this controversy, it feels like every day there's something new where they just keep fucking it up. <laughs> the Kevin yeah. Hart thing yeah. or the, Jesus, man, get it together. Get it together. What? It's, it's so simple, too. It's so simple. If you look at just the time of it, and again, man, as a director, all of this shit that I've shot in my career has gone oh, like I could I could post a I could put up a three hour version of one of my movies why mm-hmm. you've got to cut some of it you got to cut the fat somewhere why don't these producers look at it the same way and be like hey man where can we cut out about a good hour and a half out of this show yeah you know yeah uh oh the dance uh, yeah I don't need to see Hugh Jackman uh pretending to be straight dancing around through the audience for 18 minutes or those stupid sketches or any of that bullshit like Sure. Cut to it, man. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's get to the meat, the potatoes, you know? Yeah. Quit focusing on the taints. Let's get to the meat and potatoes, the dangler, you know? Sure, sure, uh, with sure. that, we got a, we've got a crime corner here today. Oh, we? we do? We got a crime corner. Crime corner. <laughs> crime corner. Um, listen, <laughs> man, man batters girlfriend with burrito. Come on, James, you're always hitting us with Think the... about it. Oh, that would God. hurt. No, no, it would like not a hurt. Flo- no? No. It depends. Who, who where, why? Is, okay. this, is this Florida? Obviously, it's Florida. God the police charge Peter Alec. Eloqua. Eloqua. Oh, is he French? <laughs> um, that's, it's a really French thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, beat somebody beat with a baguette. With food. Yeah, with a, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so got into an argument with his girlfriend Friday. Okay. And after he allegedly shoved the woman into a chair <laughs> in their bedroom, he threw his burrito at the victim. Their words, oh, striking her in the face with the food item. Okay. All their words. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, when they arrived, when the sheriff arrived at the home to a 911 call. So she called 911 and said, hey, hi, <laughs> it's me. I'm at my house. I need you guys to send somebody. Because he's at it again. Can you believe it? He attacked me with a burrito. I just pulled this. The contents of the burrito dispersed across her face and neck. Well, one would and think. And chest and shoulder area. I've never been hit with a solid burrito of you. Oh, like a fro- like a <laughs> yeah. frozen. If it was a frozen burrito, maybe I could see if like, sure. hey, man, 
He pulled out a frozen El Monte out of the freezer yep. and just started, you know, yep. maybe it was in there for two, three years and just started bashing her skull in. This does not appear to be frozen, though. If the contents dispersed all over her. Yeah. So, you know. <sighs> I'm, I, I just pulled this story up here. It says he, he, he fled the area before cops arrived and refused to return home when contacted on his cell phone. Right. He subsequently turned his phone off and no further contact was made. Right. Um, they eventually got him yesterday and he was arrested on a misdemeanor domestic battery, battery charge domestic for the burrito. Yeah. That is, that is a, whew. somebody else that says in Florida just a, was, was arrested for striking his face with a Taco Bell burrito. Yes. On, I think I've 27th. done that before no this was this was six days ago oh whoops man i didn't know a burrito was was that dangerous these days if you look at his mugshot too it it says i'm ninja you can't can't see see me me. in a mugshot i'm gonna have to put that up yep it's in the mugshot i'm a ninja you can't see me in a mug guess what we do see you we can see we see you in your mugshot um, as well. <laughs> we do see you yeah I guess I'm just you know it was a little confusing as to like what part of it hurt her or if it was just a humiliating Oof, aggravating situation did the meat did the lettuce like what is it that actually if, if I hit you with a burrito would, you, would, would that cause you to call the cops you think if it hit my eyebrow yeah <laughs> <laughs> there was any you don't like anything touching your no. eyebrow so if it like it hit me in the face and like some meat and cheese or whatever got on my eyebrow yeah i'd call immediately hey <laughs> it's me he just hit me in the face with a burrito get over here now hey nine one one. Oh boy I just got hit in the face with a burrito he was able to leave because it probably took them two days to even respond to this call <sighs> Probably, They're like, man. we're right on our, we're on our way. Woo, woo. They like made the noise. Woo, woo, woo. We're on our <laughs> way, ma'am. Don't worry. We'll be there soon. This is a huge emergency. Woo, 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 woo. Man, that's a thing now. Burrito assaults. They're everywhere. Watch your, watch your back, peeps. Mm-hmm. Watch your fucking back. Mm-hmm. Don't get, if someone's eating a burrito, just don't bother them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let them finish. Let them finish. <laughs> It's like talking in the backswing. It's an epidemic. Don't fight during a during because look, burrito, the, the last one was January twenty seventh. So I mean, you're looking at seventeen days apart right now. Sure. Fuck me. That that is a danger zone down there in Florida, isn't it? Burrito wise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a danger zone. Burrito wise, yeah. <laughs> Between alligators and burritos. You mean burrito wise? Oh, right? burrito wise, it's a war zone. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no. Oh, that'll bring us to the revolutionary figure of the day. Let's make it a, a city then. Let's make it a revolutionary city. Um, the city of uh, Kierna Avaca. I'm probably saying that right because I'm fluent in Spanish. You obviously are saying all of it right. Um, <laughs> and Mexico City. They were the first with uh, being credited for, for inventing the burrito. Did you know it means little donkey? Burrito? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it came from burro, Spanish burrow. for donkey. Yeah. And this is burrito. It's a little donkey. It is. It is a little donkey when you eat that thing, isn't it? It's got mm-hmm. a little kick to it. What's the city? I want to I wanna give a shout out to, since I have this on my desk, my favorite burrito in this life. Oh, that's right. Um, so this, if you're watching the video show, this is, uh, La Bamba. This was, there was a place called La Bamba at Ohio State's burritos as big as your head. And that was the finest burrito I've ever had in my life. So much so that I, I took you there mm-hmm. and I was like, this is, have you ever had a better burrito than that? <laughs> and they were authentic Mexico, authentico Mexico, authentico, yeah, authentico burritos, mm-hmm. and so they were so popular. They have these bobbleheads. <laughs> I've got so one right stupid. now. Um, it's closed now. They closed it down because they ruin everything. Corporate corporations ruin everything. I think it's sure. a Qdoba now, where it's just like mm. vomit. That makes me want to vomit all over my dick. Sure, um, but I miss La Bamba, man. 
It makes you want to what? Vomit all over my dick. <sighs> Qdoba. Or it's just like, uh I just want to pull my <laughs> pants down. Yeah. yeah sit in the, sit in, in a booth in there. Uh-huh. Just uh, vomit straight down on my ding dong. Oh, okay. That's how much I'm. But, but La Bamba, man. Yeah, I don't care where I was, what time of day, night, whatever. I would get a burrito and it would change my life. Absolutely change my life. Simpler times, huh? If there was... Simpler times. A hangover that needed to be shook. Sure. It was from La Bamba. Maybe you should give La Bamba the revolutionary figure of the day. There you go. I've never, I've never also been to a place that only served burritos. Yeah, that's also true. Only it was a burritos. huge restaurant. You've been there. It was a big yeah. restaurant side where you were just like, all right, cool. Only burritos. Huh? God, it was good. And they had, uh, what was that milk? That mother's milk. Horchata. Yeah. Garcia, that was his jam. Yeah. I used to get that it every single be. time. It would be that Man. fucking. There's a, look, there's, a, there's a, a nice segment of people who enjoy a nice horchata. I do. I don't, I, I, I don't enjoy it with a burrito. Oh, yeah? You don't like a cinnamon rice milk? No, not, not with burrito. Cinnamon rice milk with a burrito? I don't want to eat a gigantic burrito and wash it down with cinnamon rice milk. Nope, mm. don't do it. So La Bamba's getting the revolutionary figure of the week. I, I wish they were back. Um, I don't, I'm, as soon as we, we get off air, I'm going to actually look and see where they're at. Because I'm, I'm worried about somewhere. them. Yeah. <laughs> worried about them? Yeah, I'm worried about them. I, I hope it's open in this world. And if so, I want one. I want to see if I can get it shipped to me. Okay. Freeze dried. What do, they, what do you call that? How do I get that kettlebell shit shipped to me? Oh, yeah. Well, in a freezer box. Whatever. I want that freezer box. Yep. 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 Put a stack it full of burritos. There you go. I want to pick that bitch. Because it was about. I think you can get that. Kind when of you stuff picked it up, it was about two, two and a half pounds. This burrito. So I want I want a few of those guys. You know, maybe a five pack of 10, pound, 10 pounds worth of burrito. In my, sure. Just in my fridge. Just in case. Just, you know? just for a little knee. Yeah. <laughs> a little. <laughs> Just in case somebody comes at you, right? <laughs> oh, James. Fun show. Fun show. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. La-ba-ba.